Hello, welcome to the first evening prayer of September 2020. And we trust that the Lord will bless this time together. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. We have some verses from Psalm 107. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say this, those he redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some went astray in desert wastes and found no path for a city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul was fainting within them. So they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He set their feet on the right way, till they came to a city to dwell in. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness, and his wonders he does for his children. For he satisfies the longing soul, and fills the hungry soul with good. Some sat in darkness, and in the shadow of death, bound fast in misery and iron, for they had rebelled against the words of the Lord and despised the counsel of the Most High. So he bowed down their heart with heaviness. They stumbled, and there was none to help them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness and out of the shadow of death and broke their bonds asunder. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and the wonders he does for his children. For he has broken doors of bronze and breaks the bars of iron in pieces. Some were foolish and took a rebellious way and were plagued because of their wrongdoing. Their soul abhorred all manner of food and drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble. And he delivered them from their distress. He sent forth his word and healed them and saved them from destruction. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and the wonders he does for his children. Let them offer him sacrifices of thanksgiving and tell of his acts with shouts of joy. The Lord turns rivers into wilderness and water springs into thirsty ground. A fruitful land he makes a salty waste because of the wickedness of those who dwell there. He makes of the wilderness a pool of water and spr water springs out of a thirsty land. There he set settles the hungry and they build a city to dwell in. He blesses them so that they multiply greatly. He does not let their herds of cattle decrease. He pours contempt on princes and makes them wander in trackless wastes. They are diminished and brought low through stress of misfortune and sorrow. But he raises the poor from their misery and multiplies their families like flocks of sheep. The upright will see this and rejoice, but all wickedness will shut its mouth. Whoever is wise will ponder these things and consider the loving kindness of the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Mark chapter 7, beginning at the first verse. Now when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who come from Jerusalem gathered around him, they noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the religion of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, pots and bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked him, 
Why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honours me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human tradition. And he said to them, You have a fine way of rejecting the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. For Moses said, Honour your father and your mother, and whoever speaks evil of your father or mother must surely die. But you say that if anyone tells father or mother, Whatever support you might have had for me is korban, that is an offering to God, then you no longer permit doing anything for a father or mother. That's making void the word of God through your tradition that you have handed on. And you do many things like that. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I bind unto myself the name the strong name of the Trinity, by invocation of the same, the three in one and one in three, by whom all nature has creation, eternal Father, Spirit, Word. Praise to the Lord of my salvation. Salvation is of Christ the Lord. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God of the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of the nations. Who shall not revere and praise your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship in your presence, for your just dealings have been revealed. To the one who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be blessing and honour and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. We hold before God those who lead the nations, who have immense responsibility before God and human beings. Whatever they have been, Lord, guide them to a better place, inform their decisions, and help them to bow the knee to you. We hope before God, all those who are fed up with viruses, who are concerned about other health conditions, who are concerned about their job or their business, we hold before God those who are concerned about the new school year. We hold before God those who are concerned about relatives, those who are concerned about relationships that have suffered through the last six months, those who are not looking forward to darker days. We hold before God those for whom life is very difficult, those who have difficult decisions to make and who honestly do not know what the right thing to do will be. We hold before God their need to hold their decisions before God. We hold before God those who have difficult people to work with, those who suffer unfair treatment, unjust criticism, unappreciated work. We hold before God those who live in a difficult workplace, where things are not right, where things do not feel happy. We hold before God those who have difficult tasks to do and to face and fear that they may fail in them. Those who have difficult temptations to face and who know only too well that they may fall to them if they try to meet them alone. We hope before God, those who struggle with addictions of one sort or another, but don't dare say. We hope before God, those who know they can be their own worst enemies, and those who don't know it yet, but need to. We hold before God those who are sad because someone they loved has died. And anyone who is disappointed in something for which they hoped very much.
We thank God that he's always there for us. We pray that people will remember this and turn back to him in faith. So the collect for today. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray and to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, but through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so, as we move on from here to whatever the next 24 hours holds for us, May the peace of Christ go with you wherever he may send you. May he guide you through the wilderness, protect you from the storm. May he bring you home rejoicing at the wonders he has shown you. May he bring you home rejoicing to a holy place of prayer. In the name of Jesus our Saviour, in the power of the Holy Spirit, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.